Hello everybody. It is me, Lil Blue Guy Kingo. And I am here to host season 3 of my character elimination series. Character Elimination the Third. In this season 24 contestants will be battling it out for only 1 million this time. I know you were probably expecting 3 million, but that would be far too difficult to get. It wasn't easy even getting 1 million, but that's besides it point. Let's go meet our contestants, who are all waiting elsewhere. Hello contestants. And welcome to Character Elimination the Third. Most of you have competed in this series before. But there are some of you who haven't. So I'll introduce you guys to the viewers since I haven't yet. So for the Season 1 veterans, we have Red Kai, the Android Orange, Stuart Hilliger Griffin, Bowser Jr., Yin Yang, SpongeBob SquarePants, Noya, and Chef PP. Pretty good selection if I do say so myself. I wasn't expecting to be competing again, but hey, life is full of surprises, and this is a pretty welcome one. I bet it makes your face go red. <laughs> Bad puns aside, this should go swimmingly. Yes. For me and Yin. <laughs> now Yang, please don't get overconfident. You know how well that goes. Whatever. For the Season 2 contestants, we have Ezekiel, Gumball Waggerson, Sandy Cheeks, Mona, Cuphead, Stan Smith, Yellow Pie, and Mr. Bunt. All of the newcomers except one there. It's nice to be back, and without Jeffy, and maybe I can make it far without that greedy fat smelly guy where you're getting me kicked off. I mean, to be fair, you did make fun of his breath and also he was given the option to vote someone off. Yeah. He couldn't say no to not voting someone off, I believe. I guess that's fair, but getting eliminated for saying the truth is just stupid. I would mention my elimination as a counter, but honestly, I've said it enough times and I think everyone gets the point. That is true, eh? But I think the host should continue. He's about to introduce the new guys. I am. And our new are Alex, Baldy, Boris, Candle, Cookie Monster, Dr. Heinz Defenschmirz, Pomni, and Seuss. Aha, this is what he was doing during those nine months, making stuff like this. He no understand what he means but me here to look for Cookie. Ah oh, dude you really got me craving cookies now. I must say, I am intrigued with the people here, they are all interesting. Aha, uh -huh. once I win, I can finally take over the entire tri-state area, without the platypus to stop me. What? Alright. Now that all the contestants are here, I believe it's time to introduce you all to someone. It's my brand new co-host. Co-host? I thought you do these alone. Most of the time, yes. But then I decided to have a person I know will help me. Everyone. Say hello to Beats. H D H D H A U P Q T A D B L A O W G R A P R A D B W J Y S K. Beats is here and co-hosting this cool guy's show. One thing to note, I don't like people who are cheat here. What? Why are you guys looking at me? Oh yeah, I ride the test thing. What else would it be? Yeah, if you do anything like that, it will not go unpunished. Let that be a nice, good, or quick, funny warning. Anyway, Kingo shall take over. Thanks, Beats. But now, the teams. Much like last season, there will be three teams. But with eight members each instead of six. But I won't be deciding them, the captains will. And the captains I choose are Gumball, Red Guy, and Candle. Wow, team leader, that's awesome. I can't wait to manage my team. Well, I guess it's my job to help my team win. I guess my team will need me, no reason of the repeat of last time. Alright, so you three will be choosing the teams. It will start with Gumball, go to Red Pie, go to Candle after, and then repeat until all teams have eight members. So would you three please go to separate areas. And let the team choose and start. 
Alright, for my first pick, I choose Ezekiel. Oh yay, picked first, let's go. As for my first pick, I choose my yellow friend, the guy with blue overalls. Yay, thanks buddy. I'm going the same route as the red guy, I'm choosing Yin Yang. Yay, thanks Gandalf. But no day of betrayal stuff. You know how that went last time. Alright, our next teammate is my leader from last season. Come on down, Stan. I will do my best to win for our team and kick everyone else's asses. You know, I've heard SpongeBob is durable. I think we can use someone like that for our team. Hey SpongeBob, you're on our team now I guess. Yay, I can't wait to befriend our whole team. I'm sensing some power from that Bowser Jr. kid, Fire Breath, a spiked shell, and I think I sense some kind of arsenal. I think he'd make a good pick for the team, Bowser Jr. How would you like to be on our team? Oh well, yeah, let's go, I'll kick everyone's butt. Say, Cuphead seems like a cool guy, what do you guys think? He's giving me flashbacks of Shake, but if you want him on the team, then go for it. Yeah, come on Cuphead, I choose you. Cool, thanks cat guy. Hey guys, can we have Sandy on our team too? Sure, we need more combative contestants to help us anyway. Yay, come on down Sandy, you're on our team now. Yeehaw, I'll round up these guys as easy as being eaten by an Alaskan bullworm. I don't get what that's meant to mean but okay. You know, I feel bad for Mr. Bump seeing him in those bandages. I think he can use our help. Why? He's so weak and he would slow us down. Now Bowser Jr., that's awfully rude. You should be more accepting of people who have difficulties, and that's why we are putting him on our team. Um, thanks, I guess. I've heard that Stewie has wicked gadgets and skills. I think we could use it to our advantage. Oh yeah. Victory will be mine. Say, I've heard that the Jester girl gets compared to me and my yellow friend a lot. What was her name? Pommy, I reckon? Arnots, I was hoping that we would pick Bali. I've heard he is fast and has amazing hearing. You know, what's stopping us from picking them both? That's a good point. Hey, Kingo, are we allowed to pick two people? I'll allow it. But the team can't be any more than eight members. Fantastic. Come on down, you two. Oh, so we can pick two people at once? That's interesting. In that case, I'll pick Mona and do Fench Mertz to fill in some slots. Okay, so we can pick two people? Great, so for my next picks, I'll choose Chef PP and Suze. It's always nice to have a chef and a hand time in on our side. Finally, someone picked me. It's about time. So we just need two more slots and our team is complete. In that case, I'll go with Alex and Noah. They seem like the most decent people out of who's left. Finally, now our team has some brains. I'm a genius, you know. Okay, we just need two more people and we're done. So in that case, I'll complete the team with Boris and Cookie Monster. So I guess it leaves us with Orange. You know what they say best save for last. <laughs> Alright then. Now you guys have to decide on your team names. Unlike the other seasons where I did it, you guys have to do it. Oh, we have to decide the names? Jeez, I hadn't thought that part through. What if we call ourselves the cool dudes? Because we are all cool dudes. Yeah, I want to be a cool dude. Our team name should be the... Yes, it works and makes us all seem like good people. Alright then, Kingo, we would like to be the cool dudes. Then your team name is the cool dudes. Okay, now this part I haven't thought of. Anyone got any ideas? I have it. What if we are called the Great Goers? Because this team is so great. Sure, I guess. I don't have any ideas so this is fine. 
Yeah, thanks, Baldy. Okay. Then your team name is the Great Gares. Okay, our team needs to represent all of us so that we all come equally as individuals. Yeah, I got it, the big booms, because this team is a bomb. Don't forget the self-destruct button. Shut up, Doofan Schmertz. Bowser Jr. is on to something though. I think that works as our team name. In that case, your team name is the Big Booms. Alright. Now that all of that is done, you can all go into your respective houses. The cool dudes get the one on the left. The great goers get the one in the middle, while the Big Booms get the one on the right. So while you all get settled in, Beans and I will prepare our first challenge. You know something funny? I rewatched last season and apparently they didn't even show the team's respective houses from last season. Eh? They didn't. No, like, not even once in those 17 episodes. Strange. You'd think they would. Wow. This place is more fancy than that condo I visited. This place was someone's grandmother's. Not too bad, enough for it but it's perfectly fine. Better than the circus, that's for sure. Wow, I can imagine living in a circus. It sounds good. I guess with Sir home for now get comfortable but not too much. Hey, me found room next to bathroom. Me think it says, cookie fees and all. Hey. There is a camera in here, but no Cookie. What a shame. So Cookie found the confessional booth, that's okay to know I guess. Attention everyone. Meet outside in 15 minutes. The challenge will start then. I can only imagine what they are gonna make us do. It's the first challenge, it's gonna be something dumb like a jump rope competition or something. Okay, so the first challenge is to stay on this platform and knock everyone else off. I stand corrected. I love this challenge already. The first team to lose all eight of their members will be up for elimination. Now, let the ass kick and begin the law. I already like this beans guy a lot. Alright, team. We need to come up with tactics on how we will stay on this thing. Tactics? Why the hell would we need tactics? You just ram into people full force, watch. Hot tamale. The view is so cool here dudes. See, just like that. Yeah, exactly just like that. My team isn't losing because of a piece of vitamin C. Ah, uh, guy, there's a spike shell darting towards you at a very fast speed. Oh yay! Well I can do the same thing! So much for tactics. My team's already lost two members, but hey, I'm sure a comeback will be made. We've got great members you know, though there wasn't a need to say that last part since I'm talking to myself. A. It doesn't need to make sense. Huh? What was that? There was a guy sneaking behind you but I took him out before he had the chance to do anything to you. Oh, cool. Thanks Cuphead. I guess you are a better person than Shake. Do we have a plan to win? I guess we just knock people off while trying to avoid being knocked off ourselves. Okay then, let's do that. So, uh, do you just not speak at all? I think that answers it. Alright then, 
Time for my idea to come into action. Hey, Cookie Monster, you see those two over there? Yeah, me see them. What about them? Now I know you aren't the violent type, but if you do it just this once for the benefit of the team and knock them off, I will give you a cookie. Cookie! Cookie! Dump idiot. You just made one of our teammates run off. Hey, don't blame me for that. I only asked him to get rid of the jester and the square girl. I didn't think he would run off himself. Still, we have lost two members and our team is gonna lose. Actually and our team has lost three members. Didn't you see what the cop did to that smart guy? Yeah, and plus, Junior is being a good help. Sus was right. This is a nice view. See, he's a good help. Whatever. But you better start contributing to the team. I have been. You've done nothing but stand here. In fact, how about we do it together to show how useful I am? Deal. Alright you two. Listen up. I have a plan. As girl tries to lure someone here and when they go to knock him off, I'll surprise attack him and light them in the face with my foot, launching them out of here. So as girl, turn around so me and Gumball can hide. Okay, got it. So, how can I lure people? Aha, uh -huh, I know, I can do. <laughs> what? It's called Karate. Now to knock you off as well. Thanks again. See, what did I tell you? If you are not threatening to the competition, then the competition won't go for you. It is so rare when that actually works. I don't even know when we even decided to do this. Around when do I should stroll Cookie Monster to go after Alex and pardon me? Herbal how we did it. Wahahaha. <laughs> You're all by yourself. And your team is nowhere to be seen. Prepare to be knocked out. Oh no. Someone help me. I heard the whole thing and came here as fast as I could. You're welcome by the way. Thanks Baldi. It's really unfortunate that I had to take this step, but everyone else is sneaky and plus, Junior is where they cross the line. Well then, that takes care of him and his shell. Hang on Cuphead, I just realized, I haven't seen one of our teammates this whole challenge. Oh yeah, what's the his name? Alright, I think my team has this, but I'll stay in this forum just in case. Wait, I feel two presences. One seems to be going for me. Alright, time to take Epic Purple Witch, and my team is gonna win. Staying out of sight the whole time and waiting until the last moment to secure victory. Best move I could've done. And with that, the cool dudes and the big booms win the challenge. The contest is over, wonderful, but I think a discussion with my team is in order. And the great ghosts are up for elimination. Low those losers. Well nuts, we lost the first challenge. This is gonna stink especially when we lose a member. In case you're wondering why I shot off the squirrel instead of the candle, it's because I don't think my ray gun wolf done successfully enough to go against magic. 
vote for two of these contestants to be eliminated. Whichever contestant gets the most votes will be the first contestant kicked off of character elimination the third. However, ever, Red Guy has immunity because he's the team captain, so he is not able to be voted for. Voting will end 96 hours after this video's release. Episode 2 will come out when it does. First challenge, 1. That's so relieving. It's the first time my team has won a challenge while I am in it. But I think I've done enough night watching. Time to head back home.